Hello, and I'd like to welcome you to Mother Lover. Now, for those of you who may be observant or have been a longtime member of my channel, which I do appreciate, you'll notice this name looks really, really familiar. That's because we've already done a video on this guy. Now, the sad part about this is this is a replay I did over a year ago. And you heard me correctly, over a year ago. This is around the time that I started doing that, like, Poison Wolf guy, the same other group of guys. And this is a guy that I actually think I got a conversation with who was like, I'll never be banned. And and its assumption is that Gaijin is just pretty much inept at this point. And I've always said before that I really don't like making fun of Gaijin, but there it's just proven to a point to me that Gaijin has literally zero security team. And they're relying entirely on EAC to do their job for them. Now, you saw his record earlier. He's not that great, but if you want to actually go look at the video that I originally got of him, it's number 66. And you can obviously immediately tell how blatant it is. Now, I'm back on my old graphic settings because I only record in EOQ for a little bit of time. But even on EOQ, which I looked on earlier, you can't see through the trees at all. And you obviously see what he's doing entirely, which is staring at people to train. Now, I'm going to pause real quick and look at this. This is his squadron. It is an English squadron. But because I obviously have issues with squadrons, if you want to go join and when this video goes live and join that Discord and let them know, well, there's their information. So if you want to go join and show them the replay, that's by all means, go for it. Um, I have no issue with other players doing dis stuff like this, but because of how problematic discords have been in the past, obviously I don't really feel like dealing with it anymore. So, but to reiterate, this is a player that I looked at a year ago, which is dumb. It, it's, it's stupid. It's, it, it's dumb that a player like this can get away from so long, which Tinfoil hat theory here. Somebody at Gaijin ha is giving a blacklist or is whitelisting players to not be flagged for cheating. Or this player was not reported on enough and he just got away with it. Now, if you'll notice of my recent videos, at least the last couple weeks since the patch or like two weeks since the patch, um, Gaijin hasn't actually banned any of the players that I've looked at um, even prior to the patch, which is with the problematic clan that I had a deal with. Um, yeah, they haven't banned a single player since. So, and of the list that I have running, that's people that I either haven't recorded yet or I'm still looking at, um, Gaijin still hasn't done anything about them. Um, there is a basically... I feel like there's now a blacklist of players that just aren't being banned now. Or it's just the fact that, you know, Gaijin is just not caring about it anymore. Or they're taking it a back seat right now. Now, I understand that there's an event going on and there's a bunch of other stuff just occurring, but... You cannot have security take a back seat, period. But that's why I know that Gaijin doesn't care. Now, I know a lot of people hate Flanders, but this is why you really do hate Flanders, is this shit. Flanders, I think, is a really good map. I actually like this map. But because Gaijin has crap like this occurring, <laughs> it's just going to be, you know, the most ridiculous nonsense we're going to see constantly. Now, this is going to be the same thing again, where these players always pause and adjust something. Now, they could be leaving AFK, whatever. Almost always these guys go AFK for whatever reason and then come back to it. Usually it's adjusting whatever software they're doing. Um, but yeah, it, this guy was reported on a year ago from me. I actually still have him on my... my uh, I didn't actually have him on my Excel list that I use, uh, my spreadsheet that I use. And he's... So I found him in a game of mine recently, and his name was like, that looks a really familiar name. And so I had to search through all of my um, videos and found it on 66, which was October of last year. So October 2022. And I'm like, dude, that is just absurd that this player is still around. And being as blatant as this. So the general idea, obviously tinfoil hat theory, and I don't like saying that because of what it is, but general tinfoil hat theory is that they are literally being allowed to just do this because someone is being paid somewhere. Now, that is a very wild accusation, obviously, and obviously very wild. If you can hear my cat, I apologize. She is uh, witching out right now, I guess. Um, oh my god, shut up. <laughs> um, but you can see, like, this is not how a game should work. This is You're letting someone get away with this for years at this point and because this player has been around for literally years and my video was a year old and he's still not gone so it's my brain is like there's no way that 
a game company can allow this stuff to go on for as long as it does without having some sort of involvement. And like I said, that's a very wild theory. That's me going, woo, tinfoil hat, whatever. But it's it, if, you, if you look at it in a conspiracy theory way, that's odd, to say the least. Okay? That is very odd to have an issue like this and just let it perpetuate for as long as it does. And it's asinine that they still allow it to, to continue. Because you know who is, you know, allowing people to be, you know, cheating forever. And, you know, obviously I'm just frustrated as usual because he was in my game and I was in my spawn and he literally shot me from his side of the map to my side of the map, killing me instantly. And I have Gen 2 thermals and he doesn't on his vehicle. He wasn't in this vehicle when he killed me. But yeah, so it was, okay, cool. That's great. That's, I love that you can totally see me and I can't see you because you're a skillless little, you know what, and I hate that they're getting away with it. So, Yeah. So, conspiracy theories aside, it's still something that needs to be reported on, and I would really appreciate any assist with it, but I'm really, and for those who, so, European Canadian did a video recently where he answered a bunch of questions in his comments. Someone mentioned a comment about, quote-unquote, cheating. I think it was and put in place for, like, bot, uh, what is this game, I forget the commentary, but um, the game's going, everybody's going to end. The, the whole point of it is, CCs are not going to reiterate, you know, what they see in game. I, I don't expect them to. They're paid by Gaijin. They have their own decals. They're representing the company. That's what their job is. So I don't expect them to literally care about the game, except for what they do. Now, Tech's video recently said someone commented about botters being in the game, and it was a terrible comment. Now. If someone, if he ever does a video like that again, like a comment thing again, or who knows if he's ever going to answer anything like that again, someone needs to ask, have you ever looked at a cheater video? Now, I, even though I know you can't have an opinion on it, have you looked at a cheater video and actually seen what's going on with this stuff? Because he's only used to the naval botting issue, which he's done a video on, but hasn't gone into deep depth about. He, do, he plays ground forces, which I bet he's seen these guys before doing this crap, and yet he's not allowed to make commentary on it because he's a CC, a, a quote unquote employee. So anyway, that's my real, that's my rant for the day. So as always, I hope you have your morning, day, evening or night and replay is in the in the description below and have a good one.